Okay, on to part two of this uh, unit on style sheets and master pages. Let's say you like the style sheet we just did a few minutes ago in the previous video, and you go, you know what, I'd like all my pages to look like that, except obviously the middle part, you're going to add different words or whatever, depending on the, the page you're on. So what you do is a template, but in uh, Visual Web Developer, they call it a master page. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to take this idea that we roughed out on this screen that has this style sheet and this particular page to it. Remember, it has all that stuff with the, the div and everything else, which I'll show you right here. Okay, it has all that page wrapper and everything. We're going to use that, and we're going to make that the basis of every single page that we, we're going to put on our website. Okay, so here's what you do. So, like you did before with styles, you're going to right-click and you're going to add a, a new folder, and we're going to call these uh, masters. Okay, or just master, whatever. Okay, and um, then you're going to right-click again on that folder, and uh, we're going to add a master page. You can call it just master page like that, or change the name, whatever you want. And you press add. And very quickly, what has happened is now you've got this master page, and if you look at it, it's not much to it. All right, it's just this one little section here, which is called the content placeholder. That's where you're going to put the main part of your stuff. And then if you look at the source, it uh, doesn't look any, like anything special. There's this piece here that I was just showing you, and that's about it. Well, here's what you're going to do. You're going to, first of all, get rid of this. You don't need this piece in the, the heading there, or the title. So get rid of it. Don't get rid of this, though. This you need. Okay, and then what I'm going to do for a second is just shift it down a little bit. What I'm going to do is, remember, I just spent a good amount of time putting together that style sheet with that particular look. So I'm going to go over here to default, okay, and I'm going to go into the, the source, and I'm basically going to copy this whole thing from here down to that one right there. So it's the very first div down to the bottom and I'm going to go copy and I'm going to go into the master page underground and I'm going to paste it in okay so so far so good now I've, I've basically taken that look and feel with the divs and everything and put it in there now what about this other one well you know where you put your stuff so to speak let me get rid of this line and this line and your stuff basically goes in the content right what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this first one because that's the top part of it. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it uh, right about there. And I'm going to paste it in. So that's going to be the top part. That's the beginning of the content. And um, I'm going to grab this bottom part and I'm going to put that right there. And that's going to be the bottom of the content. And obviously now I don't need these two things. I'll get rid of them. Okay, so see this is like the main content area. There's the beginning part right there, and if I can space it out to make it look nicer. And here's the bottom part. Okay, now if you look at it right now, still looks like garbage. But hey, there's that section in purple. That's your main content area. It's called the content placeholder. And we're ready to roll. Watch the magic. I'm going to drag this style now right on here and let go, and now it follows my look and feel all right now while you're in this master page these words are stupid up here right so like actually start putting in good stuff in there so instead of that you might call it I don't know SJB website or something like that uh, SJB website okay you can make it fancier obviously the menu would go there so again I'm just winging it here but you might have a uh, like students would be one thing teachers, uh, admin, and how about home, like back to the home page, like the welcome page, right? So that would be like your menu, and then of course you'd have like little links on that later on. You could add that footer here. You could write stuff like, um, okay, made by Shirelli, all right? Uh, what else have we got here? We've got a sidebar. Uh, you could put something here. Um, let's put down news. OK, 
Okay, so you're going to basically have that on every page. Okay, and um, I like it. Okay, so this is now my master page. It has my style sheet. It has my look and feel. Okay, and the only thing that's going to change is this middle part in here all the time. Okay, now this is the part that you're going to, it's going to seem weird. I'm going to rub all this out, this middle part, because the master page, this part is going to change every time. So, I mean, why do we have it in there? This was kind of our rough out of how we wanted it to look, right? But now, as sorry as it is, we're going to get rid of all this. See this part in here? It's gone. Okay, and let's go back and design it. So this is a generic, it's a generic website now that can be filled in with anything we want. Okay, I'll do a little save all. And we've created our master page. Now this poor guy here now, we don't really need it anymore. It was nice and, and you know, it served its purpose, but we're not going to use it anymore. Everything we're going to do is going to be based on this guy right here. Okay, so here's how you do it now. So let's pretend you're now making your official website, and the first page would always be like the index, right? So you'd go like this. You'd uh, click here. You'd say add new item. We're going to click a new web form. This is going to be called like our index. If you want to call it home, you can call it home. I usually like to call it index. Now watch this. Down here where it says select master page, we're going to press add. Click on master page. There it is. And here is a page. Okay, and then this could be the part where you type in uh, welcome to my uh, website and then you would type in a whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay, and this would be the home page and then you would do a save all. Okay, then one of the other pages could be like the teacher page, right? So you would click right and click up here, add new item, web form, and this one would be teachers. Okay, and it's select master page. You click on this. This would look like all the other ones, but again, this one would be the teacher page. Okay, and you're starting to put together your master page. And as you go along, you go, you know what? Uh, I don't like certain things. You can always go back to the master and change them. Okay, so if you don't like Made by Shirelli, you can say Made by Charlie Shirelli or whatever you want to do. Okay, and then all of the pages would change. All right, just like they did when I taught you this with uh, Dreamweaver. Okay, and let's prove it to you. So here's the index. Okay, see how that changed? Now see, I can't change that. Can't change that. Only this middle part. You can put your pictures, whatever you want. Here's the teacher page, and there it is with the new changes. Okay, and this one called in called default. Really, we don't need anymore. It was just nice to try to experiment with it and see what we could do, maybe add a few features, and if you, you forget, what do you mean features? Well, let's go back to the index. You know how I say, welcome to my website? If you highlight this, remember this stuff over here? You press this, and that part's in red. You highlight this, and you apply the introduction, and it's in italic. Okay, and you can start making it fancier and fancier as you go along. But this is how you work from a simple template using the style sheet we built upon it and doing this master page and I like these and it actually works just as good or even better than Dreamweaver. Now you want to kick it up a notch we're gonna be basically beg, borrow, and steal one of those professional templates that you can get for free on the internet and I want to show you that next. Okay so you go on the internet and you try out a few sites and you go hey let's take a look at this and you, you test out a few that's not bad I like that look let's take a look at another one let me see what this one is. Oh, that's pretty crazy. That might serve a purpose. And you finally work to one you like. So let's pretend right, this soft green one was the one, like a template that somebody made that you wanted to use. Okay, This would be the process from beginning to end of how you would take one of these professional sites and bring it into Visual Web Developer and do something really nice with it. Okay, so first thing. Let's drop this down for a sec. And like I've done a couple times now, we're going to make a couple of folders. All right, so uh, we're going to make a folder called Styles. We're going to make a, well, you know what? If you don't want to, you don't have to, okay? But I'm just saying this is what we usually do. Now, if you, if you feel like 
I just want to put it in there, get rid of it. Okay, so maybe this time you won't. What you should do though is always look at this right here. Now see how they've got styles and index right there and images. Well, you know what? We need an images folder. So let's do that at least. Okay, so let's uh, add a new folder and we're going to call it images. So we've got to basically beg, borrow, and steal a lot of the stuff that's in here. And while I'm here, let's do it right now actually. Oh, only one picture. So I'm going to drag that picture in there. Okay, so that's good. We're set up with that. Uh, let's steal some more stuff. That whole style sheet, let's just drag it in there. Doesn't really matter where, I'll pop it there. Okay, good. Got the style sheet. Uh, I think we're ready to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make one of those uh, master pages, right? So that we're going to base everything on that master page. So if this one I would probably make a folder. I mean, it's up to you again, but I would I would usually make a folder. And uh, we'll call it master. Okay, and then we'll right click. And we'll add a new item, master page. And we'll press add. Okay, and you look at it and you go, big deal. What did that do? Well, nothing right now. Absolutely nothing. What we're going to do, like I did in the last example, is going to rub that out. Okay, that's gone. And I'm going to basically copy and paste this one, whatever they did in here. Now, how do you copy and paste it in? Well, you could right click on it and open it in Notepad or First Page, whatever. Some program that's going to let you look at the raw code and then copy and paste it over. So let me go in here. Let's see uh, what it looks like. Okay. And again, I don't need everything, but I need this main part. See where it says body? So I'm going to grab, oh, there's a lot of stuff with divs in here, right? So I'm going to start from here. I'm going to go all the way down to right about there. Okay. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy. Don't need this anymore. And right in there, I'm going to paste. Okay. And like I did the last time, I'm going to rub this out. I don't need it. I'm going to rub that out. Don't need it. And uh, I got to figure out where the like the main part is. There's the header. There's the center. This must be where they're uh, doing most of the stuff. So right in here, I'm going to put that stuff that's called content, right? And you can add more of these. Okay. I'm just going to grab this one first. You can add lots more of these. I'm just going to copy, and I'm going to paste it right there. And then I'll grab the bottom piece, and I'll copy, and I'll paste it right there. Okay, and you could use this later on. If you need to put more of these in there, you can. Okay, you can copy and paste as many as you need of these in there. All right, I'm just going to get rid of this one for now. Let's take a look what this looks like. Ooh, doesn't look that good right now. All right, a lot of words. This is all weird. Watch the magic. This is incredible how easy this becomes. I'm going to drag this and drop it. Look at that. Within seconds, that dull looking, weird looking thing we had has become this. Now, of course, this isn't going to be yours exactly. You're going to change it up to make it match whatever you want to do. But in the master now, you can change this up here and write down whatever you want. SJB website. Okay, you can change those words, you can change your menus, you can do whatever you want. And as I showed you before, once you do this master, you make all your pages. And again, this page is totally useless. We can basically delete it. Okay, it's not going to come in handy. What you're going to do now is you're going to go like this, add new item. You're going to add a web form. Maybe we'll call it the index. That would be like our first page. Press this to select master. Press add. Go to master. And there's the next page. Now watch. There it is. And this is where you're going to put your stuff, right in there. That's the content placeholder, right in here. Okay, and it'll be different, obviously, for every one. Okay, and that's how you make something from beginning to end using a more professional looking site.